You're an insurance agent that wants to be a beast, wants to be your very best with final expense in-person sales. My friends, you found the right video. I'm going to share with you five tips that you can take to heart so that you can have higher levels of success in a very simple industry. Now, if you've got pen and paper, go nab it because I'm going to give it to you today and I hope you enjoy it. Now, before I do, my name is Jason. I'm your friend in the business and I'm very blessed to partner with brand new and veteran agents alike in our national agency, partnering shoulder to shoulder, selling life, Medicare, and annuities face to face and also in the telespace. So free resources for your taking at jasonfinalexpense.com and I hope you enjoy this content. So now that you've got your pen and paper ready, tip number one of the five tips that I'm going to drop to you to hopefully help you become more dynamic because these people need you is get ready to plan. You must plan if you want to be powerful with final expense and personal and sales. You can't leave this stuff to happenstance. Oh, whatever happens, happens. You're going to go broke. You cannot do this. It's not an industry where you just get paid like a participation prize in some of these schools today. There is no such thing in this industry. You either have success or distress. You must plan for success, my friends. And if you don't plan, you will be punished as a result. So you've got to get into a state that you plan for everything in your week. You've got to be dialed in if you want to do more, see more, and be more dominant in this industry. I'm talking about getting your calendar out in a state on Sunday. I'm talking about the day before getting ready so that you can be the beast that you really already are. You're just unleashing it and unleashing the opportunity. Get yourself ready Sunday night so that now when Monday comes, if Monday is your D-Day, your dial day, your door knock day, you're deliberate and you're already prepared. Have your lead order purchased already. You know what I'm talking about? Don't fail to order your leads on the weekly. You want to be a warrior. You want to make the wealth with final expense in person sales, well, success is not promised. It happens because you planned, you're disciplined, you're dynamic, and you got a little bit of luck up in there. All right. It is what it is, but you got to be ready. Put everything in your corner so that you can have a chance of winning. If not, you're going to work and, oh, whatever happens, happens. You're going to have your day planner open. That white space on your calendar is going to wipe you out. You've got to get yourself into a state that you are ready to dominate your week. And that's going to happen from you doing these things where you get yourself ready, get your leads dialed in so that you can prepare for the next tip. So get yourself ready. Get yourself into a state that you're like a dog that's hyper, like a little Jack Russell Terrier that's put in a cage. And then on Monday morning, when you can legally get after it, you get unleashed to go serve people. You have to be in a place where you are ready to plan. Get your calendar out, have your leads ready. This industry is not easy, but it is insanely simple. Be ready to go by planning, being prepared. Unprepared agents don't make the same profitability. They just don't. You're not going to get profitable in this industry by just luck. It looks like discipline. It looks like being ready. It looks like having your calendar out and ready to go so that when Monday goes, you can get after your week. But I'm talking about setting up your week for maximum profitability with in-person face-to-face sales. Plan out what you're going to do. Plan your 15 appointments or your 20 appointments and don't let anything stop you from attaining it. Discipline allows you to do what you emotionally don't feel like doing. Your feelings will find you broke, my friends. So tip number one, please take it to heart. Plan for success and be prepared for success. Tip number two, now you got to get yourself ready. So you've already, let's say, blasted into your week. You're dialing everything. The people now that don't pick up the phone, guess what we're going to do? We're going to put our big pants on and head out that door and we're going to go door knock. You've got to be deliberate where you have times where nothing takes your attention away as a final expense in person agent. You must actually have fences around your time because time's your most valuable, valuable resource. Number two, put fences around your time so that you can take and make the most of your time that's needed and necessary to have a chance of making money in this space. And if you don't, you're going to find your time gets thrown out the window and then you're going to say, oh, I'm a whiner right now instead of working through that emotion pain into a place of discipline. So you must put fences around the times that you in tip number one have planned for 
And if not, everything's going to come into your plans. You've got to be ready to dominate this with discipline and with planning and preparation. But make sure now that you're ready to have fences around your time to take advantage of what you're going to do. Be positive and be powerful. Your mindset will help you make more money. Well, now it's time to hit the pavement with action. Number three, let's roll, baby. Let's get after making people's lives become better through what you do, not what you sell. It's a byproduct. Life insurance is amazing, but it's about guarding families. It's about giving them what they want. This is powerful for you making the wealth in this space. A lot of pushy salesmen out there are like, sell, 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 pound the pavement, pound the pavement. Yeah, we got to pound some pavement if you're a face-to-face, in-person agent, and it's going to be painful at times. Be prepared for pain, but hit the pavement and don't get out of your front door if you haven't brushed your teeth. Be prepared to even launch out that door. Don't be leaving that house, okay, with coffee stains upon your shirt, your ties half cocked, or your pants ain't tucked in, or your shoes have who knows what on them. Be prepared and polished before you put your you-know-what out that front door so that you've got the balls in your court to help the client win because they will judge you. I know this era, oh, we don't judge anybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, your prospects judge you, okay? You got to be looking at your shoes, looking at your, your hair, looking at your face, man. Shave, be prepared and polished. Ladies, get ready, all right, so that you look good and you don't have that problem compared to some of us men. But I'm telling you, you got to be shaved up. You can't be having all your nose hairs hanging out and ah, boogers on your face and coffee breath. Go bring some Altoids with you, for goodness sake. I know there's some insurance agents, amazing people, but whoo, that's putrid breath. And your prospect won't always tell you that, oh. Okay, you've got to be prepared and polished when you're hitting the pavement, my friends. Get out there with action, but you're going to get out there because you've prepared to be powerful, not because you're going to let whatever happens happen to you like some victim. You're going to be a victor. You're going to prepare for the victory by knowing it's going to look like a battle, the battle of your mind, the battle of the pavement, the battle of negativity and the battle of people like not always being nice to you. Be prepared. This space is not the nicest space. Takes a lot of agents out. 90% of the agent force, actually, if you want to know the numbers, it's ugly because a lot of people can't get polished. They aren't disciplined. They aren't prepared. They don't have a polished and powerful mindset. And you know what? They do judge you by what you look like, what you smell like. So a little dash of cologne won't hurt you guys. And ladies, a little dash of perfume won't hurt you either. All right. Be ready. Be prepared. Use some soap, guys. All right. Know how to use a shower for goodness sakes. And now go see these great people. Go serve them and save them because you are going to help them like they've never been helped a day in their life. But you can't help them if you ain't hustling. If you're not hitting the pavement, don't just call your face-to-face or final expense leads and then be like, well, they didn't pick up the phone. I'm just going to have to sit here and drink my pain away. No, go powerfully door knock. Go help these great folks like they truly need you because they do. Now you've got to get ready. Tip number four, now that you're prepared, you're hitting the pavement, you're dressed, you've got all your stuff in your briefcase, your satchel. Now you're ready. Now you've got to go connect and help and serve these great clients, not by just selling Selling, selling. It's by sincerely listening. It's about having a fact finder process so that you can find more success in this simple industry. Do you have a fact finder? Do you have systems in place so that you can find success? Do you have a master trainer? Do you have a mentor? Do you have someone that walks by your side and makes a way for you like what we have here at jasonfinalexpense.com? We spend so much time into training and translating a simple business so that face-to-face in-person agents can see the path to profitability. Profitability isn't promised. It's a performance-based business, but you better be ready and polished with your elevator speech. Know how to help folks and not just get there with a briefcase and high-pressure tactics, and then you wonder why your take-home is horrible. You've got to be ready. Have a good work family that is a partner in the business with you, not just telling you buy more leads, buy more leads, buy more leads, hope you make it. Make sure that you've got good alignments so that you can actually take your career to new heights and master this very simple craft. But fact finding is very important. You've got to have the right questions or you may question yourself as to why you got into the final expense in-person business because you're going to love the people, but you're going to create sometimes problems when you take 
shortcuts or you wing it. That stuff is going to get you hurt, my friends. So make sure that when you're in front of a client, tip number four, you ask the right questions. You're there to serve them. You're there to unpack the problems that they want you to solve. Now you're a problem solver and you can see what they desire you to do for them. The old so what. The consumer's thinking, so what, so what, so what. They just are. So be ready. Have systems and follow them. It's easy to get distracted, especially in homes. You've got a lot of barking dogs and oxygen tanks and great folks smoking on you. And maybe you feel like you almost got COPD and you're smelling like cat hair and cat pee and everything else. All right. Face-to-face problems. We don't have that in the telespace. We just don't. And it's amazing. We actually smell good at the end of the day, but these are great people that truly need you. So listen, listen, listen. Even when you feel like you're going to lose your lunch with the cockroaches and the smells and the hairs and the fleas and the bed bugs. Yeah. Big problem in face-to-face in-person sales. Great people, greatest people that we're so privileged to serve. But I tell you, some, some homes um, are not the same as your home. All right. And you got to go help them. They need you with, you need to just professionally help them. All right. Without looking down your nose, it's all about you knowing enough to go help and save and serve them. And the face to face uh, sales is it's amazing opportunity, but you've got to overcome the smells and maybe put a little Vicks vapor rub on your nose, depending on the home. All right. And you got to go through things that in, you know, in person sales do, you've got to be prepared and polished, but go help that client powerfully. Listen, listen, listen more than you talk. And you may find you'll make the wealth in this space. It's big. Now, tip number five is going to really blow your income up if you're good at it. And that's called your existing clients. You're so focused on attaining new clients. I get it. That's the path to wealth, but don't neglect your clients that you've cared for. They love you. They pay you every month. And you're going to ignore them like if you call them, they're going to cancel. Caustic, caustic, caustic advice, my friends. If you want to take your career to new heights, you want to make more money with final expense in-person sales, call your existing clients. Like every six months, once a year, go touch them. Go take care of them. Go sit on their couch and show some concern for them and just congratulate them on what they've already purchased from you, the great decision that they made, and then ask about what's going on with their family, how you can serve them. Do you feel like what you have is enough with inflation going on? And you know what you might find? They want to place another policy with you. There are so many insurance agents that have followed this advice and had their biggest weeks by following up with existing clients. Because when you follow up with someone that's already believed in you, that's already give their hard-earned dollars to you and entrusted you to be their agent, it feels good even if you make zero dollars and you can't sell another sale. By you being a servant and seeing them, they like what you look like, all right? Even if you didn't trim the nose hairs today and get a haircut, they like what you look like. And when you leave that home and then go talk to another lead, you're going to be on another level, which will increase your certainty and increase your chance of success. So I hope these five tips help you master final expense in-person sales. You can find success here, but my goodness, in-person sales can have its frustrations for sure. The windshield time, all the increased lead cost, but you may love it. Face-to-face agents in our agency love what they do. And there is no wrong way to take care of great people. Our agency supports face-to-face agents like rock stars, as well as the telesales agents. Taking care of good people is what we are about. If we can do anything to serve you, jasonfinalexpense.com. Thanks for partnering with us by watching this video. Be powerful today, my friends, by being prepared by putting fences around your time and you'll find you may just love this industry and may perform like you've never performed a day in your life.